Hey, it's Ken here with UAV Coach. Welcome back to our Can I Fly My Drone series. This week, we're going to answer the question, can I fly my drone in Washington, DC? So let's get started. This is a question that has been asked by some of our subscribers, so we thought it'd be worthwhile to walk through the details. So let's take a look. The airspace around Washington, D.C. is more restricted than in any other part of the country. Rules put in place after the 9-11 attacks establish national defense airspace over the area and limit aircraft operations to those with an FAA and a Transportation Security Administration, or TSA, authorization. Violators face stiff fines and criminal penalties. The DC area has both prohibited and restricted airspace and multiple airports. First, there's a special flight rules area or SFRA, which is a circular area with a 30 nautical mile radius around Washington DC. And it surrounds a flight restricted zone or FRZ. The flight restricted zone extends approximately 15 nautical miles around Ronald Reagan Washington National Airport. There's also what's called a prohibited area 56 or P56. P56 is prohibited areas surrounding the White House, the National Mall, and the Vice President's resident in Washington DC. These are all implemented by various permanent notices to air missions or NOTAMs. But NOTAM 4 1783 is specific to drones. So let's start with the most restrictive first, which is prohibited area 56 or P56. P56 is the area surrounding the White House, the National Mall, and the Vice President's residence in Washington, D.C. The only aircraft that are allowed to fly within these prohibited areas are specifically authorized flights that are in direct support of the U.S. Secret Service or the Office of the President, or one of several government agencies with missions that require air support within P-56. These prohibited areas have been in effect for about 50 years. Next is the Flight Restricted Zone, or FRZ. This extends approximately 15 nautical miles around Ronald Reagan Washington National Airport. The only non-governmental flights allowed within the FRZ without a waiver are scheduled commercial flights into and out of Ronald Reagan National Airport. Drone flights are prohibited in the FRZ unless specifically authorized via the TSA and FAA airspace waiver process. Only certain commercial and public UAS operations are eligible to request airspace waivers to operate in the DC FRZ. The Special Flight Rules Area, or SFRA, is a, roughly a circular area that's 30 nautical mile radius around Washington, D.C., excluding the 15-mile FRZ. Drone operations are allowed within the SFRA under Part 107 rules or under USC 44809 for recreational operations. Recreational flights cannot be conducted at night or per special visual flight rules and your drone must be registered and marked. All aspects of 44809 must be adhered to. Drone operators are warned that any flight into the FRZ or P-56 will result in the DOD, DHS, or DOJ taking security actions of interference, seizure, destruction of your drone, or others. The FAA also has the authority to suspend or revoke your remote pilot certificate or issue civil penalty actions like monetary actions against you. The North American Aerospace Defense Command, or NORAD, has a system in place around the DC area that detects unauthorized aircraft. So I don't recommend pushing any limits here. So can you fly your drone in Washington, DC? For all intents and purposes, no, not in Washington, DC. You can fly your drone in the special flight rules area, which is 15 nautical miles or more away from Washington as long as you follow all parts of part 107 or USC 44809. Only certain commercial and public UAS operations are eligible to request waivers, airspace waivers, to operate in the flight restricted zone, which is the area inside the 15 mile radius. This waiver process is different than LANS or the drone zone waiver process because it also involves TSA. 
Your pro tip, if you plan to fly your drone anywhere near Washington, D.C., make sure you check and understand the boundaries of the special flight rules area, the flight restricted zone, and P-56. You don't want to breach any restricted areas. Also, don't forget to check other NOTAMs in the area and get Lance approval if you're flying near Baltimore International or Dulles International or Manassas Airport, which are in these areas. Let us know in the comments if you have a can I fly my drone question so that we can cover it in a future video. Also hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and hit the subscribe and notification buttons to be notified of upcoming content. Thanks for watching and from all of us here at UAV Coach, we wish you blue skies and safe flying. We'll see you soon.